Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I... Paradox, okay. I, I actually couldn't read it on the screen, but we'll play as a paradox, why not? Oh god, ignore that, whatever that was. Um, actually, they should be over here, right. Got the little shrines over here. Make all the enemies jammed, no thank you. Make all the enemies rainbow, no thank you. Make paradox random? Sure, why not? We'll do a random paradox run. I'm just really kind of like confused why the shrines were all the way over there on the bottom left, but I'll figure that out at some point. And we'll just play a run. We'll have some fun. We'll kind of see what kind of, uh, you know, guns and items we can get on this run. Table tech heat, blasphemy, sniper rifle. Please blasphemy for a little while. Thing about starting with the blasphemy as paradox is I always end up forgetting I'm not a me. Well, there you go. Not immune to the contact damage. And because the sword kind of pulls you forward a little bit whenever you swing it, you gotta be very extra super freaking careful. Alright. Probably just end up gonna use the sniper rifle from now on. Uh, and, you know, hopefully we can get some HP. Although, if we need to, we can just buy the pulse cannon, so... Honestly, I'm okay with this start. But I'm not a big fan of the uh, blasphemy usually. It's a very strong gun, although if you get hit like what we, you know, just did, it can put you into a weird position. Ooh, a free key! It's good! I love getting free keys. Blasphemy every time. Blasphemy not every time, thank you. Definitely not Brazilian. I... I'll be perfectly honest with you, I wish that it was scaled down a little bit, the blasphem blasphemy starts. But I guess that's kind of what you get for, you know, rolling the wheel that I, I roll whenever I, I pick a char random character to play as, right? You might just randomly get a run as the bullet, and if you, you know, unless you override the roll and say, you know what, I don't want to play as the bullet, I want to play someone else, you're going to be playing as the bullet, and you're going to have the blasphemy anyways. But again, at least you have that contact immunity. You have the ability to dodge roll into enemies to do extra damage to them. We do not have any of that, of course, but what we do have is a particular set of skills. And really good eyesight, thanks to us eating all these carrots that we come that we uh, get from our swords. Hey! That was actually pretty good. Hey, Mr. The Champion Man, thank you for the follow. The synergy is limited now, he got it last stream, I think. What synergy? Oh, scope? Yeah. We've done the scope, sniper rifle, synergy in the past. It doesn't work anymore. Well, I mean, it does work to give you a lot of extra damage, but you can't one-shot bosses, unless you have other damage upgrades. We don't have any other damage upgrades, we only have... Well, we have none, actually. If we get the scope, we would have exactly five. Rat sack. I mean, it's... Fine. Not what I would want, of course, but it's it's acceptable, it's doable. The world record for Enter the Gungeon speedrun that was set yesterday uses it. Oh, um, the 360 Yes Scope? Yeah, I mean, it's good. 360 Yes Scope is a good damage upgrade. And again, if you can get other damage upgrades, you can get it to one shot a boss, but it's not infinite damage up. You can't just spin 10 times and get a thousand damage anymore. Was he invincible to my sniper rifle shot when I walked into the room? What was up with that, Mr. Bullet King? I'm very confused as to why my sniper rifle did not hit you. I feel a little bit cheated out of one bullet, exactly one bullet. You don't understand how these people can use keyboard and mouse and still be gods. Keyboard and mouse is the way the game is meant to be played. Trademark. Parenthesis R, parenthesis NVIDIA, okay? Keyboard and mouse is nice because uh, certain items work correct. Don't pick up the HP. Certain items work more correctly with it, like, um, uh, the map gun, or gunny, there you go. 
Orgunny works really well with the... With the keyboard and mouse, more so than with the controller. Yonok! Well, thank you for the follow. I've been watching YouTube for a few days. Finally get to watch the stream, well welcome. Ah, I think I have a bug bite on my temple. <laughs> it's weird, but... This is like, I got a little, little bump next to my temple on my face. It's kind of annoying. Uh, T-shirt cannon. I mean, we have pulse cannon, we have sniper, we have proton backpack. I don't think we need to necessarily worry about that. Uh, we have two keys. We can go to the oubliette. Let's do it. Open up the chest. Blech, blech. Get a little bit more HP. You know what? We're just going to turn that into money immediately. In fact, we're going to turn a little bit of extra HP into money. Keyboard and mouse is probably better for any shooting game. Unless the keyboard and mouse support is horrible, aka Dead Space. Dead Space is effing awful with keyboard and mouse. Every time I try to play it, I get fed up and I just use my controller because it functions much better with controller. And my controller sucks, but it, it's still better than using the freaking keyboard and mouse controls. I don't know how they could have messed it up as much as they did, but they did. Uh, so, I, you know what? I have a confession to make. I, so I used to work for a video game company and we didn't make anything, you know, truly outlandishly popular. It's not like that. Not like I work for that sort of a company, but no, we work, we, um, made a game that was kind of like a Diablo game. You know, you, you run around the dungeon, you collect loot, stuff like that. And I made a really awful decision in how to handle the mouse support, where at the edge of the screen, it ended up being less accurate <laughs> than in the middle of the screen because it's near the edge and the calculations start to like round off a little bit and it's an actual horrible thing that I put in there. And I didn't do it on purpose, it's just that like I had to be like, well how do you handle the mouse coordinates on the side of the screen in Windows? And I just chose like a, a method of calculation that was really weird. And I wonder what happened. Like did anybody notice that? And like in the game they're like, wow, whoever wrote the mouse controls for this game really sucked. They had no idea what they were doing. I mean, they're, they're right. I had no idea what I was doing. But it's still fun. You know what? Oh, uh, yeah, th thanks! Thanks, cheese balls. Go after the wrong freaking enemy. Yeah, don't hit the giant mushroom man. Go after the one small bullet can and have all the shots curved to the right. Oh my god. I mean, we have to. We have to, and then we have to go fight the rat because this is weird. We have two rat items immediately. Um. This is strange. How is S H W different? S H W? Oh, Super Hot Watch. Super Hot Watch is the only passive that works better with the controller. Super Hot Watch works theoretically better with the controller because what you can do is you can actually, you know, do a tiny, tiny little step and increment time slowly. You know, like with the keyboard, I'm either moving or I'm not moving. You know, it's it's digital. It's on or off. But with a, a controller, you can I could be like very slowly stepping to the left and then time will move very slowly, but faster than if I was stopped completely, you know. You had a little bit more fine control over how fast time was moving. So I can I can see that being an argument that the uh nice. That the controller is better in certain situations, because it is better for Super Hot Watch, I think. You have that little extra fine controlled, which is nice. Sometimes it can screw you up though, you know. Sometimes you'll be thinking, oh, I just need time to move, and you're moving the control in a very slow fashion, and it's not moving as fast as you would like, and you take damage because, you know, you're not holding the stick hard to one side, and it's just like, just move time, please. Get rid of Super Hot Watch for just a second. I mean, that happens sometimes with a, you know, keyboard and mouse, but at least with keyboard and mouse, it's like, you know, it's on or off, you know? I can still kill you in one. You know what? Sniper Eiffel's probably better there. Uh, Sniper Eiffel's definitely better here.
Keyboard or mouse is better for Enter the Gungeon because of Bloodied Scarf. What, you still take that item? I don't consider that being that valuable. I mean, it, more so uh, remote controlled bullets. Remote controlled bullets work much better with the mouse because you can just put your cursor over an enemy and the bullets will try to hit. You know, with controller, you have to actually control the direction that they travel, which is, is oftentimes really weird to do. It doesn't work as well as you would think. You can technically do something like rig up a racing input pedal to simulate a tilt speed on the game's movement controls while still using the keyboard. I, I, I suppose. <laughs> it's a little uh, weird to do just for, uh, you know, moving with Super Hot Watch and Enter the Gungeon, although I guess you could still just, you know, do small movements on the regular anyways without it. Let's open it up. Trick Gun is the perfect bad gun. We can use it and then gun munch it and then feel completely justified in our decision. Oh, it's a second one of you! I love the new music for your uh, upside down cross room, but also it's another one of you! All right, I can dig it. You know, I'm just gonna flip all the tables and burn them. This is acceptable. I'll pick it up, why not? Armor of Thorns. Okay, well basically now we are the bullet. Oh my lord. I love seeing this much HP. Means we're gonna get a lot of money. I mean, here's the thing. This is a perfect run to go and fight the rat because we have a ton of money. And by having a ton of money and a couple of rat items, I, I wonder how that's going to affect the payouts from the chest. I mean, I assume what's going to happen is we're just going to get random items, but like what tier of items do we get from that? Are those rat chests random completely, or will they give us A tier items or S tier items? I've never, never actually paid too much attention to that mechanic. Oh, that's a bad timing for it. Of what happens when you have the rat items and you fight the rat anyways? I saw a video where chat voted for items and you got them. Any plans on that? Well, I need to, I need to like finish up that game mode and fix a couple of bugs with it. Like um, gold junk, chat can't give me gold junk. I have to figure out why and correct it. Lucky timing on that. But also, I think it would be fun for like a, a Twitch votes for Gungeon type of a run if Twitch could vote for other things, like random DD20 modifiers that could appear. Uh, maybe they could vote for bosses on floors, and then you get you get to fight those bosses instead of the regular bosses. But that requires a lot of uh, of other types of work that I would want to put in. fun sometimes. You know, when chat gives me interesting runs like that familiar run we had, it was really fun. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Uh, so we got so much HP. I love it. How much HP do we have in the dispensary? Five. Oh, I mean, that's a lot of HP. Yeah, I don't know if the rat chests have a tier. I don't know if the rat chests will give us a, a particular tier, or if they're just gonna give us random items, or if they're gonna give us a range of items. Like, it's for, it's a random item that could appear in a rainbow chest, meaning it's green, red, or black. I don't know. Milk Jug, hello, welcome. And Cheese Baron. And Philemon. And Lieutenant Payne. And Noah Dodge. It seems that you thirst as much as I. Come back when you have had your fill. Well, all right. We got a lot of money. Buy, buy this, buy this, buy this, buy this. It's gonna buy out the shop and give all of our HP to this lady again. Uh, but this is this is, is going wonderfully. No complaints at all. You think the rat chests give A or S tier items? Says Apache Thunder. Well, we will see if you are correct. 
And me. Oh, game watch or Libre, hello. <laughs> uh, we go. Go a little bit more. Oh my god. Get back up to 300 gold. We are absolutely effing rich. I love it. I want her to appear on, like, every floor. <laughs> of every run. Because that's so good. Ah. And we have a couple of, of decent guns. You know, Pulse Cannon's pretty good for room clearing. <clears throat> Hexagon, pretty good for bosses if we need it to be. Or maybe try to get like a, a chicken transformation here. Ooh. Hold on, where is this gun? Think. Unfinished gun. One day we'll get the finished version of this gun, but we have to get some other unlocks first. I don't even know what we have to do to get the unlocks. Like, what what else is remaining? What else is left for us? We need to get Rubenstein's monster, which is just horrible because I never seem to get it on any run. Um, we need to get. Well, hold on, what's rem? Oh, we're gonna definitely buy that. What else is remaining for guns? There's something else we haven't picked up yet, right? Uh, Rubenstein's monster. Is that it? Is that the only thing left to pick up as far as guns go? I think it is. <laughs> and then for items, we need to get Turtle Trouble and... Is Turtle Trouble even unlocked? I don't even know if it's unlocked. We have to like... Okay, well in that case we're definitely gonna buy this. We're gonna try to find uh, Super Space Turtle on this run. We have to find Super Space Turtle and then defeat the dragon, but not the advanced dragon, because we've done the advanced dragon and it didn't unlock anything. So, I don't know, okay? I don't know what we need to do to get the last remaining unlocks. They are somewhere. Maybe we'll find them one day. And we'll be able to actually finish our freaking save file. I need Turtle Problem. Yeah, but I don't even know if it's unlocked. Because we, we did let Super Space Turtle defeat the Advanced Dragon at one point, and it didn't unlock anything. I don't think it unlocked anything. Did we? Wait, was it? I think it was Advanced Dragon. You know what? I need to be using this Ice Bomb a little bit more frequently. I mean, I bought it because it's actually a pretty good item. It and the bomb are, are usually half decent. I think at this point I do want to, well I definitely want to open the chest, but I think I also want to explore as much as possible and open green chests because we need to find Super Space Turtle or Turtle Problem, and I don't know what tier Turtle Problem is. I've never actually gotten it from a chest, I got it once because of uh, chat giving it to me as, a, uh, as an item in one of our... Twitch integration runs, and then I reverted the save file so it didn't mess with my my standard unlock progressions. But that being said, oh, hello. Still gotta find that freaking item. I guess Excalibur is the rainbow item that we have. I keep forgetting what items I have attached to the, uh, the stat to. <laughs> so it's, it's a surprise whenever I see a rainbow enemy. I did do Advanced Dragon with the Super, Super Space Turtle and it did not unlock. Okay. Yeah, if we get Super Space Turtle, we're just gonna do the regular dragon. So that probably means we're not gonna pick up the, uh, the Serpent from the rat fight. We're gonna do the rat fight, and then we're going to ignore the serpent entirely, because we don't want to do high dragon in case it's bugged with the super space turtle. I don't know if it is, but we'll see. And definitely not Brazilian. Uh, it's glad to see that you're here. I, I I appreciate you being here. I thought I saw you the other, the other day, though. Maybe I was wrong about that. Or I'm just mistaken. Misremembering, remembering a different day or a different thing. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. 
You think you only need to unlock Turtle Problem. So I don't need to get Turtle Problem in order for the 101% unlock of finished gun? Possible. I mean, we're definitely gonna try. Bam! I kinda hope that we find another vampire lady. I want her to appear on every floor of this run randomly for some reason. <laughs> I think that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, okay, we have a key, we have a key. Open it up. It's gonna be a passive, so I thought we would just do it. Do it, do it. It has to be the normal dragon, the super space turtle. Although they may have fixed that bug. I, th I thought I remember reading that as well, that maybe they fixed the bug. Absolutely, we're gonna buy baby good mimic. But that maybe they fixed the bug, but they may have fixed it after we had already defeated the High Dragon with Super Space Turtle. But we'll see. What does the new Ruby Bracelet do? Uh, I don't really care about that. The new Ru Ruby Bracelet means that if you, instead of throwing your gun and having it do more damage or exploding, you walk around and you build up kinetic energy, and then you dodge roll into an enemy in order to do, to do a lot of damage. It's more interesting than throwing your gun at zero ammo because seriously how often do you throw your gun at zero ammo you don't but it's still not that good I think it's an interesting item but it's still like eh, I don't really care anyways let's fight the freaking boss I'm immune to contact damage so theoretically I could Use the reload from Excalibur to hopefully do a lot of damage, and we did. I guess we could also use the reload from Excalibur against the, uh, the Beholster here if we really wanted to. That's a little finicky. There's some really good synergies with Excalibur, but the default Excalibur, I don't think it's even worth the like 2.5 curse that you get from it. Two curse that you get from it. It's not that amazing. It's all right, but it's not like insanely valuable. Hmm. Secret room wasn't here, was it? No, it's not there. I don't think it's gonna be in the uh, exit check it out could be at the bottom right of this room I, I didn't check that one little space no it's not here it's not in the shop uh, check big room all right so are there any keys for sale no oh okay well I guess we're not getting baby good mimic well that's very unfortunate I thought we had more keys in the shop but I guess we did just buy one that's fine. We already don't have any freaking familiars, although we, we did just, just buy the item, you know? It's gonna take a little while for us to find a familiar, hopefully, on this run. Just wanna make sure I'm not forgetting anything, leaving something behind. What does VIP do? Yeah, you can post links. <laughs> And I made, I made a found Hades a mod so that he can uh, more easily, hopefully, get people to be able to post links, because he's always asking people to, like, send me the link and I'll post it. You know, which is, you know, that's mod-like behavior. That's what you want to see out of, a, out of a volunteer. But I don't know how to actually make it so that anybody can post links. Permit doesn't work. It's not like a bot command. There's no Twitch command for posting links. The auto-moderator just does it automatically. I don't know, I'll, I'll have to figure it out. Because I don't mind that people post links as long as it's not like, come visit my YouTube channel or naughty singles in your area. Ah, ah, get out of here. Helps if I can actually aim. Dunk, dunk, dunk. We'll say I love the pulse cannon. It just sounds satisfying. Dunk. <clears throat> I 
No! Oh. Really wanted to try and get this guy caught in the explosion, but he, he rushed me down. Thunk, 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 thunk. Hold on. I guess I could also save ammo. You know, I'm immune to contact damage, aren't I? I can literally walk into enemies and they'll burn thanks to backdraft as well. <laughs> My character keeps, uh, you know, changing forms. I keep forgetting who I am. Who am I? You are who I say you are. Abe rates guns based off of their, the way that they sound when they shoot, not their damage. <laughs> Uh, in which case, Pulse Cannon's definitely up there. Um, what else would be up there? Bubble Blaster's kind of up there. And then the, you know, the burp reload sound, I like it. Uh, no keys. We'll wait. No keys, I sleep. I still hate those dynamite bullet kins. I brought it up in the past, but I will change their behavior at some point, if I remember, and can figure out how to do it. How to do it! Hey! That's pretty darn good timing, I think. Fat bullets! Oh! Heck yeah. So you can combine the ruby bracelet plus helmet for massive tackle damage? It's not Ruby Bracelet, it's uh, Ring of Fire Resistance plus the Armor of Thorns. Makes it so that when I touch an enemy, they burn. So in this room I can just be like, I'm just gonna, you know, get a glass of water. <sighs> that wasn't water, this is water. Lowercase R best gun. That's right, that is definitely gonna be up there on a list of guns. Bullet, 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 bullet. How can you say no to bullet? Oh man, fat bullets is so good! Give me that sweet damage up! Lynn Waddles, thank you for the follow. Of wishing that the sniper did a little bit more damage on the pierce, but I understand every gun in the game only gets like a. Oh no, it fell in the pit! Every gun in the game gets half damage on a on a pierce. It's just part of the mechanics. Yeah, take it with the sniper rifle. Ruby bracelet does grant contact immunity. That's true. Ruby bracelet does grant contact immunity. But we don't have Ruby Bracelet, we have the Ring of Fire Resistance on this run. Everyone keeps talking about the frickin' Ruby Bracelet. It's not, that's not the item we have on this run, what are you guys talking about? We can buy one more key. Let's open this one. Extra coolness, it's acceptable. We'll have a, you know, more frequently reusable ice bomb. Do fat bullets have more knockback? They must. They must, because that's that's pretty uh, heavy knockback on the pulse cannon against a blood yulon. I don't remember it being that good. I'll open up this blue chest as well. Actually, do we have anything that creates water? We have snowballer. Hmm. Don't know if it's a rainbow chest. Uh, good gun munch. If we're gonna gun munch, what are we gonna gun? What are we gonna? What are we gonna? What are we gonna gun munch? We're gonna gun munch Excalibur, and Shades is a revolver, or hexagon. I don't know. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> I thought the uh, significantly up, you know worse version of the uh, old king earlier. All of a sudden I fight this guy and I'm like, wow, you're so fast. Maybe I'm too slow. Ever think about that?
Uh, we do have at least one more good reload. Probably have at least one more. Ooh, I got very lucky there. Now we're out. What? I had that dodge. At least we didn't have any glass wand stones, but I had that dodge game. What are you talking about, Gungeon? Don't do me dirty like this, Gungeon. Me and you were supposed to be on the same side. Gotcha. Still have two blanks, so I should just pop them. We already found both the secret floors. No, secret floors? Secret rooms, I think. I don't think there's a, a need for us to necessarily save any more blanks. Yeah, just walk into the bullet. Just sidestep into the bullet and just dodge roll into that one. Alright, I guess we're gonna save our blanks, because why not? <laughs> also, definitely glad that we picked up one key and saved a key, because this. Super fat bullets? That's a big fat bullet. Massive effect, okay. I believe it. You know what, screw gun munching. We're just gonna take ammo for all these guns and we'll, we'll be happy with what we have. Get this for this. Uh, spend the key. You know what, nah. We need to save the key for the next floor anyways. We need to make sure that we can actually go to the rat. So we'll break these open. Make sure that we've purchased everything that we want from the shop, which we have. Uh, I don't know, Proton. I like having a beam gun. Tell you what, get rid of unfinished gun. Get rid of trick gun. I have cheese, or have the rat sack use it. I always forget about the rat sack, and also I was using the, uh, the bomb very frequently. Pea shooter, much better. Would be cool if there was a secret with the paradox where you beat the game without dodge rolling so the sprite never changes. Munch gun, munch. Gun munch trick gun like you said it was perfect for. I did it, I did it. Abe can't use more than one item in one boss fight. The problem is with the rat sack, when you start getting like four or five active items and you gotta swap between them all the damn time. That's what my brain has a problem with. So admittedly, I should just suck it up and just use the uh, the rat sack, but I don't like using the rat items. <laughs> Thanks, Peril. You know, I've had people tell me that the they don't like the rat items. They don't like watching them because they're they're too strong, especially the cheese wheel. You son of a gun! You know what? I bet you I can just walk up to you and shoot you. There you go. Oh god, you're very fast. Keep trying to like get the proper distance with the mass shotgun, but it hits like one wooden barrel and then the shot just goes away. I hate it. There we go. It does seem to do an absolutely incredible amount of damage. Trick gun came out of a green chest. It's not a green, that's not a green gun, that's a blue gun. I'm like 96% certain that trick gun is blue. Oh, you know what I am gonna buy though? Heavy freaking bullets. I was kinda hoping that that would be another vampire lady, but it's not. Oh my god. Yes, yes, give me the run with all the the big bullet-making items. Look at the size of these peas! Also, table tech blank, completely forgot about that one. Look at the size of these peas! Eat your greens, dingle dog. You know what? There we go. Extra thick. <laughs> do, do, do. 
I fire a beam of smoke with a freaking sniper rifle here. What about this? No. <laughs> All right, that it, it looks like a goddamn submarine. Dun 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 dun, dun. or like a torpedo or something. Oh my lord. Okay, proton backpack is slow as hell. Pulse cannon, big. Snowballers, okay. Hexagon you can't really see. Scalibur's nice. Shades of Revolver is really big. Oh my lord, this is a weird run. I like it. One of those peas could feed a whole family. <laughs> All we need, for, all we need to uh, solve world hunger, is more guns. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? There we go. Kind of wish that was a little bit easier to do, but oh. The bullets are enormous. He can still be pushed into the pit, even though he's hiding. I did not know that. That was lucky. That didn't get you. I got you. I just wanted to walk up to him and, and pull the trigger. I didn't think I'd get hit from it. Oh my god. Look at the peas! We have di a different type of pea. Yeah, this is a good run. <laughs> I'm still thankful that they fixed the problem with giant bullets not coming out of your gun when you're up against a wall, but... Oh, don't go into the frickin' minecart, you fool! Overkill. I feel like I'm creating, like, mines by dumping down these giant mass shotgun shots. Beautiful run. It's a beautiful run! That is true. Not like he uses the blanks anyways. <laughs> so Ice Bomb does not find secret rooms, only the regular bomb. And I'm not using, I use blanks on, on, uh, on boss fights just fine. There we go. But I like saving my blanks for the boss fights, and I, I should have used them on the, uh, fight against the old king. But to be perfectly honest, some of those hits were kind of bullshit. Look in your heart, you know it to be true. I basically have quad laser. I have quad laser, except the shots also explode. So I have a better quad laser, basically. I have a, a point blank quad laser. Point quad? I wanna go to Matt Man, not the uh not the lowly brown chest. If I knew that it was gonna be Oh hey, he rolled into it. If I knew that that was gonna be a uh you know rainbow chest, absolutely I'd open it. I don't really care. Doesn't really matter, does it? Let's go talk to Matt Man. We'll roll the, uh, oh. I telefragged the rat and then spawned right here. That was really strange. Uh, we'll, we'll do the boss fight and then use the D20 shrine. I just don't want to lose the blanks. Because we need to use the blanks in order to get to the secret. So what we actually should do is do it now, I think. Don't do that, that was dumb. Switch back to your regular gun. This is a good run. Uh, so we're gonna buy... We don't need the keys. Buy armor, we'll buy a, a blank. We'll pop the armor and the blank right now just so that we don't forget about it later. And then we'll fight the boss. We have two blanks that we can use. Hopefully we can get a flawless. We can get out of here. We get the Casey. So I, I'm not gonna pick up the Casey. I literally did like, on Tuesday, I think, I did a Casey-only run 
we don't need to get Casey on this run. I like the guns that we have. I like the fact that we've got giant freaking bullets, you know? We've got some cool effects going on, and I wanna I wanna keep these effects going. Oh my god. Proton backpack beam is so big and it does so little damage. Okay, you know what? I'm out of here. Like by the time I fire my bullet, <laughs> he's already walked into it. Or by the time I fired my bullet, he's already moved. Okay, mass shotgun. Not that good against a mobile enemy like the tank, but it worked. Finally get our first familiar. Bullet petting a dog. Hunter petting a, do petting a dog. Marine petting a dog. You get to pet the dog, and you get to pet the dog, and everyone gets to pet the dog! Alright, what are we getting rid of? Let's get rid of... P-Gun. Robbed and reloaded. Well, we had no money, and getting full ammo in every gun is basically meaningless, so that was kind of pointless. But, it didn't cost us really much at all. In fact, if we wanted to, we could sell items for money, but I don't think we need to, to do that. We should have enough money from now on. I want to keep all the items that we have for the most part. We have some interesting items, you know? Dun, 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 dun. Ultimate Noob says, wait, you did do a Casey only run? Why wasn't I here? <laughs> you weren't here because, uh, I don't know, why weren't you here? Maybe you're not as big of a, of a fan as I thought. Says he'll pop the armor, uses the blank on the first secret room anyways. Did I? I thought I popped the armor. Oh my god, if I, I mean, that's what I intended to do. Do I still have one armor? I have two armor, so maybe I did. That was silly of me. <laughs> that was very silly of me. Grim789 asks, why is my Gungeon RNG so bad? Uh, apparently you just need, you know, my game, because my RNG is real good. Freaking heavy bullets and fat bullets. I'm so freaking lootly. Right, right, down, left, up, left. We know the way. Ultimate Noob says, I want Wendy's. Well, he says he wants Wendy's, and now I want Wendy's. This sounds freaking delicious. All right. You know what? Screw it. There you go. I wish you wouldn't get knocked back as far, but that gets the job done. Down, left, up, left. Let's go back to Proton Backpack. Oh! Oh! It's a it's a it's a rainbow lead maiden. Oh, we killed it. We he, it didn't get a chance to to bounce around. <laughs> I'm sorry, milk jug. But this beam is just so bad. It doesn't even seem to be doing that much damage, but it's really slow, so it's hard to hit with it. We're done. Milk Jig says, No, my feelings. <laughs> uh, I guess we probably do want Hyper Light. See you later, Parallax. Thanks for stopping by. You don't like Wendy's, you would rather eat Chick fil A's. It's closer. Thank you guys for the the random one bits. Um, Chick-fil-A is not close to me in any way, shape, or form. I mean, it's like 20 minutes away, so if I wanted Chick-fil-A, I'd have to, you know, go for an extended drive. Oh, I had the reload. Look in your heart, game, you know it to be true. Can I not, can I, oh, he's rotating nothing. Can I not do the, um, the reload? 
Hold on, I, I want to see if I can reload and um, break the kunai when they come out. I don't want to kill them. Because it seemed like I couldn't break those shots. I can break the cheese wheels. No, I can. I, I guess it's just a timing thing. Okay. Maybe I couldn't. It, you know what? I bet you if I look away and do the reload, they probably don't break because they're so long. I bet you because they're so long, they are not getting broken properly. Thank you guys for the bit war. Keep tossing me your pennies. You're in the UK, you only have KFC and Burger King. Chick-fil-A is the best uh, chicken place if you want a chicken sandwich. Wendy's is pretty good fast food. If you're looking for fast food, you can't go wrong with Wendy's. Maybe you can, I don't know. It's much better than McDonald's. I'm taking a lot of damage. I'm not, I'm not handling this fight properly yet. <laughs> doing a pretty horrible job right now, actually. Let's start getting better here. All right, this is when we want Proton Backpack. <laughs> the, sh the damn beams, they don't go anywhere. There we go. Beams are too damn slow. And that thing doesn't even have the range to hit the boss, oh lovely. You know what? I can hit your legs. No. Your legs don't technically have a hitbox, I guess. Also, why am I worried about these guys? They don't do anything. Get out of here. They can't hurt me. Okay, so. You prefer Waffle House. If you haven't been there, you haven't lived. I don't know if there's a Waffle House anywhere near me. Okay. Uh, Punch the crap out of him. Chamber gun. Probably not gonna use it. I use it all the time, especially on the, uh, the bullet hell floor. And it's really, really OP, but maybe I'll use its other forms. We'll use forms, you know, zero through five, and we'll just skip the bullet hell form when we get there. Because the chain gun, the chain gun is really freaking strong, you know? Now we need to get four keys. We need to get four keys so we can open up four chests. So we are gonna try to get uh, at least the first four. I don't remember, shouldn't have gotten hit there by the way. I don't remember how many you get by, no, I, I remember, okay. I, I'm trying to concentrate and, and think. This guy can be kind of annoying to fight. All we need to do is finish this phase now. We don't need to, to three star punch out th this phase. So I'm not, I'm gonna try I think to get the super timing on the uh, the punch, the super punch. I don't know how else to describe it. No. Nope. You punched me back. Why'd you punch me? If he gets away, he gets away. I don't care. No. I did not realize he would um, try to punch me after that. Ah, oh, well, he knocked him out. But yeah, so apparently, when he flashes, apparently, if you do a super punch into him at the exact moment, you can knock him out in in one star at full health. And I'm come hither, purple ghost. And I'm trying to get the timing down on that, but I don't really even know if it's like a, a, a proper mechanic because I've. Never seem to be able to actually make it work. Anyways, that's a lot of synergies we just picked up. Bullet bore, get equipped with AC. What is AC? That's a really slow drill. <laughs> oh, we just fired two drills now. We have the synergy with uh, with this. Charmed bow synergizes us, Cerebral Bros. Wait, Charmed bow? 
then Trash Cannon synergizes with Junk for Grouch, which is just more... Oh my god, it's a big poison ball. Really? Why does... Why does the Charmed Bow synergize with the drill. I, I don't understand that one. Looks like that's the only mimic. Which is fine. So we're gonna get the cheese wedge. We're gonna get a pig. We're gonna get another pair of shoes. And then we're gonna get the gun. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know why... We got the, the a second pair of shoes, but we got a second pair of shoes, I guess. Something, right? I'm just gonna take ammo for this. Take ammo for this. Why not? Get me out of here. Oh, also. Bleh. Oh my god, that's a big piece of cheese. I want it. The cheese gun is eating the cheese. It's such big cheese. There we go. So what do we got? We got we got ring form. Crappy shotgun form. Can't quite drill into his head as much as I would like in cheese form. Have some cheese. Ow! Alright, get me out of here. I've had my fun! And we're not doing, again, we're not doing the high dragon because in case we get Super Space Turtle, we're gonna fight the regular dragon and hope that we get some sort of an unlock. And then we have a uh, freezing rocket launcher that is probably really slow due to fat bullets, heavy bullets, but. Oh my god. I... Is it even working? Hold on. It's not it's not even coming out of the gun at the correct position, which is weird. Like the bullets are coming out like six meters above my head. Well, it is what it is. Switch back to like. I mean, Cerebral Bros could be pretty good. They did reduce the sound effect of the drill, which is nice, because uh, it was really loud, admittedly. It's a little bit uh, quieter now, easier on the ears. Brrr. Oh my god, it's such a big plushie. Squeak. Squeak. Have all the squeaks. It's a very big squeaker. Um, I don't know, a nice shotgun? If I can get the shots to land, they'll do a lot of damage, but... This guy's pretty mobile. Did get him. That's pretty good. Never switch off the cheese gun. I tried. As soon as I went down to the next floor, it's like, no cheese gun for you! So, unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, where is the secret room? Is it here? No. Oh. I mean, it pays for itself in many ways. You get the turkey, a little bit of ammo back, it's nice. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Cough, cough. Oh! No! My bullet's too slow! Did you fire twice? That was a weird sound. Now you want Roxy's grilled cheese. There's another lady who sells! Who buys HP for money, I can sell to her. So why do we even bother trying to use the shotgun at range? Just walk up to an enemy, put the bullet in their face, and they're gone. There you go. There you go. You, you're a little bit tankier. You, not so much. 
We found a glitchy looking chest on floor one recently upon opening it. Yes, that is the glitch chest. If you have found a glitch chest, uh, I don't know if you should be considering yourself lucky or uh, cursed, because uh, it's, uh, it's a little bit tough to do a glitch chest sometimes. Might as well take it. Oh no, Melted Rock synergizes with the Mine Cutter, not the Mass Shotgun. I don't remember which, which synergy did what. What's the, what's the synergy with the Mass Shotgun that fires the laser beams? That's gotta be, uh... That's gotta be... With the laser sight. Right, 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 right. Because it also synerg it does the same thing with the Particulator, doesn't it? If I remember correctly. Okay. I want it. Where'd he go? I heard him up there on the left. I I went the wrong way. Hey. Oh, Apache Thunder, you made a, a whole floor from a glitch chest. That's kind of cool. I hope it's fun. Um, yeah, let's go open the chest. We have keys, we have money, we can buy more keys if we need to. Can't quite quite kill these guys in a dodge roll. Can't kill these guys in a dodge roll either. Mm. We're gonna stop doing that. <laughs> All right, I can uh, walk over the pits. You know, I gotta try it once, you know. Kill the enemies with dodge rolls only. You know what? Take that. Blow up. Alright, key, what do you got? Or chests. Let it open with a key. I might honestly sell some stuff. Just to make sure that I got enough money for the next floor. If we got enough money for the next floor, we can buy anything that we want. I don't know why I'm even worried about you guys. And you know what? You, can, you guys can't even hurt me. I gotta remember that. These giant uh, freezing thwomps, they have nothing on me. Ah, wallmonger. What are we gonna do with the wallmonger? I mean, melted rock is, is garbage. We could sell the pig. No, Abe, no, not the pig! He's not doing anything for us. We can sell the pig. Pepperjack is in your top ten, says Cheese Baron. Eh. Everyone's got their own opinion. Alright, let's go fight you. See what you give us. A wall of the monger. Good try to eat. Oh, don't use it here. I oh, know. Give me squeaks. Give me squeaker McSqueakertons. Make sure you're using the bomb at the correct moment. Not when there's fire! That is not the right moment to use the bomb. Why are we... Oh, we're... The dodge roll went so far because we have two uh, rat boots. I almost forgot. Which of the fourth floor bosses do I think is easiest? Kill Pillars 1... Thousand percent kill pillars are incredibly easy. Six. So this is our third encounter with this lady. Uh, she's apparently following Paradox around. It's acceptable. Why can't you walk through the wallmonger mouth? Did I? Didn't I? Cells pig dies on bullet hell. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Remember r and I'm not gonna do r and I don't see a need to. Although if we do it, maybe we can get a, a Super Space Turtle. Uh, maybe we'll do r and Just hoping it would synergize with something. Yeah, maybe we'll do r and then. Alright, go take this. Well, actually, um, 
You should take the second floor flaw, or the first floor flawless, because I don't really care about that with chamber gun, which is here. I kind of, you know, I want to keep the other forms of it. Uh, so Charmed Bow is giving me massive effect. We don't care about Trash Cannon. We also do not care about the... I mean, honestly, the peas being enormous is amusing, but we don't care about the pea shooters. Get out of here, freaking garbage gun. Get out of here. Get out of here. Please. He's gone. Oh, they're so slow. <laughs> But they do get the job done. Even if they take a moment. It gives me a moment to just look at these enemies. That's such a good hat on that bullet gin. I really do think once you do the floor once, those guys should just appear as regular enemies. Get rid of Melted Rock. It's such garbage. Why are you shot? Oh, you're a rainbow candle, but... I couldn't tell. <laughs> that was startling. And you're a rainbow book. All right, I keep getting more rainbow. Let's go kill you. Hey, lady. Ow, why are you not? Oh, the, the shots were, she's so big that the shots were hitting the wall trying to climb into her head. <laughs> I feel a little bit... I forgot about the dog. Felt a little bit cheated out of that one. Ah, ah, ah. What is this? How do you go there? You just gotta sell uh, a mast around and some items to the cell creep and then he'll, he'll take you here. The spoilers! Okay, I should try to avoid, you know, some damage. Because, you know, we do need to complete the run still. Not die. Thank you for the HP. Let's switch off of this and go to the... Oh, the bullets are so enormous. Uh, I don't know. Sniper rifle. Why not? Oh! Hello, my, uh... My wiggly friend. This is good enough. Although maybe, honestly, the uh, hexagon might be a little bit better for us, just because I think it does do a little bit more damage than the sniper rifle. I do want to kill these guys, you know, relatively quickly. Someone gave me a good, uh, a good idea of something to test in the future, is if we can get the escape rope. What happens if you use the escape rope to leave the roof after you kill the boss, or before you kill the boss even. That seems like it might be, uh, you know, potentially an interesting Easter egg or maybe a super secret unlock, you know? You gotta try new things in this game and we will try it at some point. I don't know, give me the... Give me... Ah, oh, SA, the shots are so slow they're not gonna home in easily. Ah, oh, we got the pencil! Oh, they fixed it! They fixed the pencil! It's a giant wood beam! It. I hate it. Hold on. Oh, it's got a second side to it. So this is the pencil, and you reload it, and then you got the eraser. <laughs> All right, that's pretty neat. It's pretty nifty. Uh, it seems horrible. Why don't we try it out on a room? Let's go try it out in this room up here. Okay, let's get the eraser out. You're gonna get erased, my son. It's horrible. As is the case of with wood beam, it's actually utter garbage. Uh, okay, get rid of the pencil. Also, the UI really breaks with it. As soon as you shoot it, the U it's just gone. Would you like to see my pencil? It's humongous! All right, give me the, uh, the ice bomb. What gun are we gonna use? Ugh. 
I don't have any good, like, boss-killing guns. I don't know, maybe Excalibur, maybe Hexagon, maybe Mass Shotgun would do a lot of damage. You bother some insect! Yeah, 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 I get it. I don't know. Use my shotgun. Get out of here! At least when we hit with the mass shotgun, we're gonna do a lot of damage. But unfortunately, this guy is, uh... He's really mobile. Oh, you son of a gun. I know, it's getting... The he's also really good at dodging my shots when they come out. Get out of here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna use hexagon. I need something that fires faster. The bullets are too slow. Nice shot. Get out of here. My bullets are too slow. I need rocket-powered bullets. Your pencil is giant, but not as big as my pen is. I see what you did there. Uh, get a gun? Trank gun? Isn't there a synergy with Trank Gun that makes it good? Because it's currently, like, not that good. I'm gonna jump off the building to get out. Is there, like, a, maybe a secret somewhere? No, that's just a wall. Hey, dog. Goodbye, bomb! It's gotta be something. I don't know, maybe like a an extra secret from this floor? We got a map. Is there anything here? No? I can't leave. We can't teleport away now that we've defeated the boss. And pet the dog. Hmm. It's gotta be a secret. Trank with rations or Patriot or SIGs. Makes sense. What is Trinkin? Trinkin stuns, uh, I believe, on occasion. Not because, you know, non non lethal. It just stuns the enemies, but it's still like it's pretty, pretty not fantastic. It's not even stunning any of them, it's just, it's just hitting them and knocking them back because, you know, this is what we got. I don't know, SAA? The shots are just so slow. <laughs> I have no idea what to use at this point. We have good guns and a lot of base damage, but our shots are so big and slow that I feel like it's actually hard to hit enemies correctly. And even something like the mass shotgun. Yeah, it's real good. It's also a pain in the ass to hit anybody with it. At least with the SAA, we get some, like, decent homing effects. I need to find some keys, some keys, some keys. Find some keys to open all of these freaking chests and get more items. Like Super Space Turtle. Like, ten bullets come in on one enemy, and then he dies to the first two, and the other ones are kind of wasted. Because the enemy, the bullets are so slow and the enemies are so fast. All right, you know what? This is not working. We did get a key. I mean, I don't know, machine pistol. So I can just kind of spray and pray. How are you not dead? We'll open this one. Could have been Mr. Turtle. It's not. It's Woof, which means Sniper Woof. What am I, What is hurting me? I guess that was just standing on the trap, unfortunately. <laughs> Oops. Whatever. Get me out of here. <clears throat> Last night you found out that Rainbow Run makes for a good blessed run with guaranteed passives. 
That's why I actually really enjoyed the BZDD20T rainbow mode run that I did a while back, because it actually seemed like it made the run better, because I could actually, you know, get items. A guaranteed passive per floor is really good on a BCDD 20 t type of a type of a run. Had a lot of fun with it. I'm liking Hexagon just because it, the bullets have no travel time. Ah, I thought I was gonna be okay there. Oh, I see. Space friend is taking my. <laughs> My passive effect! He's taking my bonus damage! Space Friend is taking my, uh... My Sniper Wolf! You dumb dog! say dumb dog because it's uh it's really the wolf's mistake he's given the buff to the wrong guy can't I just drop the big bullet items why would I ever drop the big bullet items they're fun and annoying but they're also damage upgrades and damage upgrades are important I want to keep them all right we got why are we getting so many chests is the dog is the dog digging up a chest or something because this is kind of ridiculous up with all of the familiars except turtle yeah well it's still you know a lot of familiars I'm okay with that really that didn't kill you and as long as we keep picking up keys it means that we can get some more freaking items Okay, what do we got here? Blue chest. I don't really care about a blue chest. I do want to open up the green chests, though, because they, I think, can give me Super Space Turtle. Oh my lord, this is a good gun. This is what I, I've been waiting for my entire life. And there he is. The most beautiful turtle in the world. Oh my god, you're rainbow. Give me a synergy, lady. Good luck, dog. Devolver. Devolver synergizes with heavy bullets. Overdose. Oh, wait a minute. Hey! The, the, the shot speed down doesn't apply anymore. Our bullets travel at normal speed. It's the perp. Who said I should get rid of the heavy bullet item? Who said it? You would have missed out on... An item, a synergy that reduced the speed down to zero. It solves the problem I've been having. <laughs> There's a blank in there. Look at that blank. Um, can we get any keys? Let me get one. Also, we can get that, and get that, and get that, and get that, and get that. Welcome back! If you make it this far, and even if you return so often, that's enough chatter for now. All right, well, screw you then, lady. Open one chest. You know what? We'll open up this one. Second Gun Knight piece. What's the chance we can get more sets of the Gun Knight, or more pieces of the Gun Knight set? Uh, probably pretty small. All right. For some reason, Advanced Dragon doesn't count towards the unlock method. I think that they patched it so that it does, but 
just in case it doesn't, that's why we didn't take the, uh, the serpent. Alright. Oh, look at that laser. Man, if only there wasn't a damage cap. We could just totally destroy this freaking dragon. I want the space later, laser later? I want the space to go later. That's dumb damage to take. I didn't see the bullet coming behind me. I thought it was in the clear. Now, do I have to let Super Space Turtle get the killing blow, or can I get the killing blow? I don't know. Uh, we're, we're probably gonna drop the wolf and the pig just to be on the safe side. So, there's the pig. There's the wolf. There we go. While dodging. <laughs> So we just want to get the dragon low, and then let the turtle get the... Ah, oh, space friend! Uh, 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 there he is. There we go. Okay. The turtle is going to get the killing blow. Nobody else. Nobody freaking move. Nobody touch anything. I don't know if he has to get the killing blow, but he's gonna. Maybe it works in the exact opposite. Maybe he's the only one who cannot get the killing blow. Ah, no, it's fine. Turtle problem. There we go. So we've done that before, but I guess, you know, we had the wrong turtle. Turtle, turtle. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, uh, gun munch. I like the guns that we have. Let's just go. Let's just go. I have a lot of blanks remaining. <laughs> turtle win confirmed, yeah. Total is one. I did see a couple of things in earlier patch notes regarding something involving an unlock with the dragon, but may maybe what I was actually thinking of is maybe they fixed it for the Sunlight Javelin unlock. Because I think that there was a bug with Sunlight Javelin. So maybe I'm just getting the items mixed up. Dude, I love the giant plushies. The giant rats. <laughs> and I guess I, I got them confused because... Or I may, may have gotten them confused because there's two items that unlock by killing the dragon. There's Turtle Problem and then there's Sunlight Javelin, which we've already had unlocked for some reason. We've already done a, you know, familiar run previously or something. Or maybe the game counted, you know, previous runs somehow. This is the wrong room, by the way. There's no reason to keep going. Bada bum bum bum. You're pretty sure that when you sele select a character after the, after the run, you get the finished gun. We'll see. I would love to have, you know, another gun unlocked and ready to freaking go. Especially one as good as finished gun. I've, I've heard that it's OP, like borderline OP, but I don't know. I've never freaking ha I've never seen it in action. I saw the picture of it. Not shooting or anything. I just know that it's a gun. It exists. And hopefully it's really good. I hear it's good, and it can appear, like it's an S-level gun that can appear in brown level chests, which is very interesting. I mean, there's already plenty of really, really good items in brown level chests, but if this is going to be a black level item in a brown level chest, that's gonna be kind of crazy. I'm interested in seeing, you know, what people are actually talking about when they're referring to the finished gun. Gotcha. Ah, oh, thank you, dog. Because it replaces the unfinished gun, it can appear in D and S level. 
That's what I hear. Yeah. I'm interested in seeing what all the uh, the hoo-ha is about. That was such bad damage. I got stuck. And then I didn't really get stuck. I just dodged poorly. <laughs> so really, it's just on me, you know. Thanks, dog. Give me a little pet. It's a little buggy because unfinished gun is still appearing in shops for you. I bet you though if you buy it, it would turn into the finished gun. Exclamation mark a pencil. <laughs> it's another one! That's the second one we've seen on the run. I hate it. But luckily we haven't had to deal with them at all. Thanks dog. I'm gonna assume that was you. I already killed him. F for Rainbow Mimic. I'm I'm kind of surprised that there are no glitch mimics or rainbow mimics because they would be they would be fun. Like you get a, gl a glitched mimic, it I don't know it, it does something absolutely you know batshit crazy insane, and then after you kill it, you immediately teleport down to the you know glitch beholster fight. <laughs> Because that's what happens when you open the chest, and it would be a, a lot of fun, I think. Really weird, but could be cool. Or it could be hideous and insane, and no one would ever want to open a glitch chest in the off chance it's going to be a mimic. Rainbow wall mimics. That would be cool if you could see them ahead of time. I keep forgetting I am immune to fire. Oh, he got me. I tried to like shoot and dodge roll at the same time. Didn't work. F for Abe never getting finished gun. He'll never get that one gun. I mean, I have unfinished gun. I did not expect that guy to shoot me that fast. Why are there so many rainbow enemies? I'm not that high statted, I don't think. I'm also being really dumb with dodging. I'm being very careless. Because I'm invincible. I have the, the two pair of rat boots on. All right, boss fight. What do we have? Uh, right, a boss killer. Giant laser beam, where'd he go? I don't even know what attack he's doing. He's so big. <laughs> I'm standing in the wrong spot getting hit. I'm like, I'm trying to pay attention to the, you know, giant laser beam of destruction. The hitbox of which seems extremely large. Isn't the unlock for a finished gun completing the Ammonomicon? Yeah, but here's the question. Is it for unlocking all the items that show up in the Ammonomicon or for actually picking them up? Because Rubenstein's monster is in the Ammonomicon, but it's not filled in. As is the uh, turtle problem right now. Eh, bad dodge roll. Let's actually use some of these blanks. Would be cool if you get to fight the shopkeeper in a boss fight as a secret. I think someone would have discovered references to that if that was a possibility, you know? Oh, not of ammo. Well, if we're out of ammo, might as well go back to the mass freaking shotgun. It's super massive. Ow. You know what? Buzz off, Lich. 
How do you get the mod terminal? Just install mod the gungeon and, and it should work. Yes, yeah, so Vridi, I don't know if I need to pick up Rubenstein's monster in order to get the finished gun unlocked. We'll see. Maybe I'll just restart the game real quick and we'll see if the, un the finished gun becomes unlocked immediately. I have no idea. But in any case, good run. Turtle problem has been unlocked. Nothing else, and we'll uh, you know try to find Turtle problem and Rubenstein's monster at some point. We'll never have Rubenstein's monster. Two two items. That's all you need. Two items on the on the same run. Never had it. In 1,500 hours of Gungeon, never had it. I'm kind of a little upset, but hey, it gives us something to look forward to in the future. It gives us a moment where we will finally have the completion of the Ammonomicon. One day. But for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, check me out on Twitch for Wanna Go Live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs, and I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.